Hey, <laughs> that's I've already, I've already, I've already started. <laughs> hey, hey, he just a run in, baby. You know what it is. He'll be you know back. what I mean? <laughs> yes. Hey, got a question for y'all, man. You know what I mean? Before we do the uh, the actual intro. What's up? Because we were talking about it at work. If you were Swiss beat uh-huh. and you saw Usher hug your girl, what uh-huh. would you do? I mean, I'm in entertainment, so I probably would have cared because this is entertainment, baby. We got to make everything look good. No, no, no. Treat it as if you're not in entertainment. Just a straight up nigga. You were just a oh. regular, yeah. Work, just work, a, working at working um, at Walmart, uh, <laughs> <laughs> making making eighteen dollars oh, an hour. Like, oh, like they work husband and wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's, <laughs> hey man, yeah. that's a little different. <laughs> a little different. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, what? so what? How how would you handle that situation? I gotta ask my lady what she doing. Like, what's going? Yeah, because. I can't get on us to that. I mean, that's who he is. And I, what the fuck I'm gonna do with him? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I go for him. I'm going to jail, or I, or I'm not gonna make it out of sight of But my girl, you, 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 you know what it is. At least I hope like so. I say, like I say all the time, the onus is on the person in the relationship. Mm. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to see about that shit. Oh, you got to pull up. You <laughs> no, got to pull up. You got to pull oh, you up. Matt Barnes? I feel you. That's you good. Gonna, you going, you going, man? I ain't gonna say it because I love Usher, but just be careful. <laughs> if this definitely... teach us one thing, that nigga don't give a fuck, bro. No, and he Usher, married. Usher is an habitual overstepper. <laughs> Where's the line? Gonna... I'm going over. Usher has <laughs> like, Usher has ten toes over the line. <laughs> don't bitch care. There's a step of dog. Like he don't care, bro. He don't care if you in the crowd. He don't care if you sit next to your girl, bro. That nigga is just. This is who I am. This is what I am. It is what it is. Honestly, and you see what he did. If you if you if you, could, if you could sing and dance like that, would you, would you care? You know how many lines I'll be stepping. Man, that nigga better. He better be fucking. What's that nigga name again? Uh, Ray Leonard for real. When you see me got down. There. <laughs> that shit better not just be the movie. <laughs> hey, you know what? On that note, let's start the show. <laughs> we love it. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, 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 yes. What number are we on, fellas? 154. 154. Let's go. Let's go. One Cena. Yes, sir. Yes. Welcome, everybody, to the, what are we called? The Black Guy Wrestling Podcast. Yes, we are. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, friends. Welcome, listeners. Welcome, viewers. Compadres. You know what I mean? Homies want to. Continuing our uh, celebration of Black History, as we always do, throw them up, throw them up. Yes, sir. You already know. But coming in first, it is I, Scotland Underwood. Coming in second, it's your boy Solo Nolo Green, former champion. Yes, former, former. Yes. As you see, I don't have it with me. I mean, it's here, but it's not with me on my person. I, I don't appreciate the clapping. I guess I'll come in third. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Coming in yeah, third. Well, 
But you already know who's gonna get the last word. It's the boy that's never late for the party, D Max motherfucking tardy. You know what I'm saying? Yep. C D B says OB. Wow, there it is. All right, right, Mr. Champion. I see you. A humble champion. I was gonna say, I don't like the way Chaz is a champion because me being the true champion of the podcast, I would have gotten my title. But you know, humbleness is a key thing. So no, no issues, no beef. I'd have picked my baby up. You know what I mean? Just make make a list, man. I can't, I can't let my baby be without me by my side. So I get it. I feel but like everybody, not, everybody, not the champion like I am. So I what's understood? What's understood? Don't need to be explained. I'm the champion, regardless, motherfuckers. Let's move on. Oh, this, this man get a cigar and start talking crazy. Yeah, that, 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 I'm done. I'm done for the night. That was it. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, talk it. I'm good for one. You I was going like to say five, six. I was going to say, technically, you do have up until the first week of March before you have a title defense. So, but if you don't, if if you want to vacate the title because you're not ready for it, man, you can let you can let the. No, so I'll take I'll take responsibility because honestly and truly, a nigga didn't know he won. I didn't see it in the chat. I didn't know nothing after. (laughs) So are we gonna be a key with the bean? I didn't know I fucking won. This is news to me. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. so, the chance. what what oh yes uh what what was the last pbv uh vengeance right yeah yeah was, okay yeah I just did, yeah. okay all right you won because who'd you pick oh the fam oh the family the family yeah yeah the yeah, family yeah. won because the rest of us pretty much picked the same thing so italians yeah yeah Shout out to that. You won't, you won't, uh, I don't, you weren't honest. on the pod that week, but we had, we had, we uh, said it during the podcast. Okay. And, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 You good. Shout out to my girl. I had to, you know, y'all know. Hey, brother. Y'all know. We understand. Valentine's oh, because Day tomorrow. And shout out to my man, Nick's girl. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hi, my love. Shout out, shout yeah. out to Bex in the background. Shout out to Bex. Shout out to Bex. Big, all big, y'all, big, all y'all in big, loving big. relationships. This is beautiful. Shit, Black right. shit you ain't no, gonna never be the one because shit, you already know how you is. No, yeah, no, no low four thousand. The mystic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we chilling, baby. Real, we chilling. The real Underwood. The real, <laughs> yo, Jesus. stop it. That's you. Jesus, Jesus Christ. The that's you, baby. You know that's the you. Real, no sir, Christ. no sir. I, look, brother, that's I am you. a happy. I'm in a happy, loving relationship, man. You, you though, you in cosmic space. <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling, bro. Yeah, you chilling, man. I'm chilling right I'm chilling. now. I'm, I'm, chilling. I'm, I'm, I'm an astronaut. Just chilling in this space. Just floating. I like it. I like it. Just goes and But look, if you are <laughs> currently watching us, you currently listen to us, leave a comment. You know what I mean? Of course, you can find us on our streaming sites on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Overcast, and of course, Pandora. You know what I mean? Boom, boom. Pod, Pod Dealers Network. Love What's it. Up? Yes, that is us. That is what we do. Yes. <laughs> no umbrellas. <laughs> Let's get to business. None. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <But> first, <laughs> first, fellas, how are y'all doing, man? Beautiful man. Life I mean, good, brother. I, Life is good. Oh yeah. Wait, I wait. Mean, real quick. Real quick. Happy belated birthday to our oh, brother. Yeah, Nolo. yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. yeah. Another like lap around the sun, my brother. Like we say in Louisiana, boy, you're getting oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh the three six. We love it. We do what we do. Ah damn. Uh, yeah, all right, yeah, not, yeah. Too not too much, not too hey, much, not too much. My shit coming fine. up, not too much. It's not even a jersey number. I know a nigga named 36 on it. You know, hey, I mean? hey, 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 like jersey numbers and shit. Like next year, Wanna... I'm gonna be wearing Shaq at the Lakers 34. Who the fuck? 36 Marcus well, Smart. Rashid, Rashid was, Rashid was Rashid 36. 36 on it. Hey, you oh, 
said Mark is smart. <laughs> hey, I'm hey, smart, man. brother. That, go. There you go. Shout out to 36, bro. Oh, okay, okay. I see how you flipped that on me. He did. You flipped that like you. Kanye flipped that uh carnival beat. I mean, when Isaac didn't let him use that uh that uh yeah. you know, Isaac didn't use the original beat, so Kanye said shit, fuck it, nigga. I'm gonna just use the other shit he, he let him use. He about to get sued <laughs> a lot. <laughs> A lot, a lot. <laughs> Not, they, they, lot. He already, he, they already let him use it. He, he just used his own beat again. Didn't he go bankrupt before? Who, Kanye? Yeah. Kanye never go bankrupt. I, no, illegally, I think he did, bro. He probably did, but <laughs> I'm talking about in Kanye mind, he'll never go good. Oh, okay. I, yeah, all right. You're right. All right. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> I got you. All right, are y'all ready for Valentine's Day tomorrow? Y'all got everything planned? Oh, hey, my man, here. WrestleMania is already been uh, no low. Uh, <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I was trying, I was just trying to help my ask my guys. Hey, man, WrestleMania is expensive, dog. It is, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what and hell? Me, me, and my lady, we have a. I mean, we got, I got her something. I got her something. I got her gifts. But I just want to mm-hmm. reiterate, WrestleMania is expensive. Right? It is. It is. Yeah. It that is. Hotel, it that is. hotel price was sickening. Oh, hey. God. Hey. Oh, Excuse God. me, sir. Excuse me, huh. sir. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about it. Tell me about it. Man, look. <laughs> look. Tell me. And that was on the cheaper end. We won't tell you. Right? Oh, uh, uh, we outside. We, we outside Philly, so we like in Cherry yeah. Park or Cherry Hills. Yeah, like it's that. in it's in Jersey and shit. It's not that far. far. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but we got a tour guide because our brother Lorenzo, he um, he's popping through. Oh, that's an even great. I'll talk to y'all after the podcast because uh, hopefully everybody can do it next week. Lorenzo will be on the podcast with us. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Man, come on, yeah. Shit, I'll be there. Shit. Okay. Yeah, this, 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 this next Sunday. Next Sunday, I'm. Sunday, I'm assuming. All right, bet. Yeah, man. I yes, feel sir. like so, me and that nigga brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's family right there. But uh, what are you guest. doing for Valentine's Day, Nolo? Yeah, that's a frequent guest. Nothing. I got another plan. Chilling. That's what's up, brother. That's Over what's here. Up. Yeah, cap. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I got <laughs> line up. As far as Why would I cap? Me. Why would I cap, brother? I have nothing nah, to cap. He about. celebrated on the 15th with all the side chicks. <laughs> That's how you do it. They need it. They need it's a call day for that. A day for the fifteenth <laughs> for, for for them. Maybe maybe uh we got to come up with something. See, I got a partner. No. He said he said his he said a chick told him, "Hey, they gonna celebrate it the day after." I'm like, nigga, you just decide, nigga, nigga. That, what the fuck? Is- yeah. <laughs> hey, hey look, or not the favorite, one or the other. Yeah, but look, here's. Look, you got to look at the positive in this situation. It's like chocolate's half off. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you know, flowers, I mean, sort of flowers are half off. <laughs> Restaurants aren't <laughs> busy. Come on, man. You know what I mean? So, man, man, can I get that lady some, some dead roses and shit? That's fucked up. Oh, uh, some people like it. I'm not one of the people, but some people like it. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, so. <laughs> Let's let's get to the graps, man. Let's get to the get to talking. And obviously, we did not uh, record on Sunday because of the Super Bowl. You know what I mean. But last Thursday, yes, WrestleMania kickoff, the press conference. It was at Las Vegas. Uh, before we get to diving in, diving into the the deep deep story that we we have to talk about, what did y'all think about the presentation? Like, do you like the the sports style setting of the press conference? Of course, of course. You think, it has, man, like, you think it has like a dope element, like a uh, like a realistic element to what they're doing? Man, yeah, man. You put it in a fighting town, you know what I mean? And like WWE been doing a great job of having a presentation uh, towards that now with the the post um, press conferences after each uh, premium live events, and then you having you know a um, a open pretty much. Um, press conference just like you know in other major sports like ufc which is a you know sister company of uh wwe now and uh and like boxing which is a 
you know, my favorite sport. Uh, well, second favorite sport, but it, it's a good, it's a good little presentation that they're doing, man. And I, I, I love, I love the atmosphere. I, I put it up there with the, the press conference of uh, WrestleMania 14 when Sean was going against uh, Stone Cold. I put it up there with that. Mm-hmm. Did it make y'all? Did it make y'all anticipate WrestleMania more? Like, did it feel like when the press conference was done that WrestleMania is the must see show of the year? Just for the messiness on social media alone, hell yeah! <laughs> it was beautiful, man. Do you see this? We oh had we had a whole we had a whole what <laughs> week and a half of discourse. Oh my! People man. going people oh. going crazy on the and, and hey, we was really excited too. We was talking about how Cody about to be sitting on the sidelines and everything, and then WWE said, "Hey, what's good." Bow. And you, can't, Bow. You, can't, you can't discredit, you they can't discredit Dwayne. Dwayne pretty much set it up pre mm-hmm. press conference during the Pat McAfee uh show when he yeah. w- where he officially turned heel again, you know. This pl- and I hope I ain't jumping the gun, but that was just no, beautiful. No, no, how no, he set that no, up. No. Like, that was I, before the press conference. You good, yeah. It was before like, I'm like. Yo, where where is this Cody? What is coming from? A Cody Crybabies? All right, all right. I see where you're going, Rocky. And that's the Rocky we grew up on. Like the nigga never been a face. I mean, he he been a face, but we all loved him when he became a heel. So we still getting that the the uh the aura, the the real aura of the Rock. You get what I'm saying? With a little different flavor. With now that. A little bit of the Hollywood rock in my aspect, but with the family bloodline attached to it now. And I just think it's a beautiful character that we haven't seen. We've seen every aspect of Rocky, but this one is just like, all right, I'm kind of intrigued on Okay. It's yeah, it's way yeah. different. And I think because uh, oh, oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, no, no. All I was going to say is that. The press conference, I feel like, was a reminder. I feel like people got it in their head when it came to Rock and Roman that it was going to be one way. So Rock being on the Pat McAfee show and instantly, like, it, in a weird way, it's like we forget, like, how charismatic The Rock can be because he locked in on the character of The Rock like that. You know what I mean? Like, it felt like a Rock promo. They didn't feel like Dwayne Johnson speaking like, it's like he transitioned, transitioned into being the rock again. And then continuing on to the press conference, it felt like he like fully leaned into it. So, but like like Mac was saying, and like people were saying online, the aspect, and we'll talk about this more when we get to the uh what happened at the end. The aspect about this is that I feel like this is gonna be a version of the rock we have never seen. Just like Mac was saying, like this is not, I don't feel like. You might get like little quirks here and there, but I feel like we're gonna get exactly the the same rock we saw on that stage is the exact same rock we're gonna get in this build up. Yeah, and I, I agree, and I agree, I agree to an extent, and I'm not. I agree a lot with what you're saying, but the essence of the rock, if you go, you think back, they tried to force that Rocky character, and then he was like, you know what, y'all want to boo? All right. Ain't no more rock. It's this. Y'all about to get the real me. Y'all about to get what I really want to say just times 10. And I think that's what comes with a with that authentic feel that we want to see from Dwayne. Like we don't want to see the poly, the poly, the politic of Dwayne John, Johnson when he was, you know, he gotta kiss babies and shake hands and just be nice and all of that shit. Like we about to get like <clears throat> newer version like you said but it comes from the essence of the real the origin of the rock character and i'm just like all right i'm ready for it and speaking to the the politics side you can tell like there's still a little bit of that there because some of the bars you know what i mean cody crowd baby was solid but it wasn't like oh a bar it was just it was perfect timing of it but as y'all saying as you throw in the personal factors of this as you throw in him being out the game for so long fully and him coming back the, like you said nick reminding y'all motherfuckers of who i am add all these elements into it i agree i don't ever think i thought this rock was was possible and now that it's here it's like oh 
it, it gets the people going. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I'm curious to see all these elements combined into one because once, once the, <laughs> once the circle is complete, once the heal mode is fully activated. So my question is, is uh, how well, long before? Well, uh, real quick, let me do a proper proper introduction to this. Right, mm -hmm. since we are seeing a heel rock, I feel like it's best that we look towards the heel of the podcast. Break down for us, <laughs> Yolo, how and you know what I mean. What this exactly would mean, and if you were doing it as a heel yourself, how would you handle it? Okay, first of all, <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay, so all I can do is tell you what I would do if I were a heel. But since I am not, I just want to make that clear first. All right, cool, got you. But what I would do is I would use. All the power that I have, since I am now one of the big, the uh, the head of the board, why would I not use my corporate strength to help my family become even stronger? Have the corporate bloodline and you take over. You, w, you said run roughshod. Oh shit! Run yeah. roughshod over everything that's going on in in the uh wwe right now they wear they wear suits and lays let's go <laughs> that's actually kind of like tough it. though that's it. <laughs> i like it not I like a bad it. idea it's not bad it's not bad hey yo so, solo still be barefoot yeah. <laughs> it's, it's uh, like uh, you know, that subject is you know change we'll we'll, hey, we'll talk about it later <laughs> With the suit. Yeah. Okay, we got some. <laughs> that's compromise. That's, that's some crocs on. Those out. You know what crocs on. I feel you. <laughs> now he got that. Uh, Stolo gonna be wearing the Steve Francis suit. You know what I mean? Like all baggy. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You talking about ninety eight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, looking into the press nasty conference, time. you know what I mean? Nasty work. Nasty work. But uh, the press conference started with Seth coming out and. I feel like it, whatever they were doing, this was done by design because it makes you feel like Seth is kind of the forgotten man. Like, like I feel like it was in design well played to make you think like Seth, in hindsight, just wanted the best match at WrestleMania, right? Instead of like, he wanted to wrestle Cody because he recognized the, the politics side that was about to unfold, right? But Roman comes down. They have their own fourth, which I feel like was a great setup for the an eventual one more match yeah. between the two. Like they yeah. gotta get, they got, they gotta. Go yeah, one we one gotta have time. that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta have mm -hmm. Seth and Roman one more time. Yeah, um, yeah. But then Roman comes out and he's talking like, "I'm gonna make the change. I'm gonna make the decision." You know what I mean? And he chooses The Rock, and The Rock comes out and Rock got booed, got booed heavy. Big time. Got booed heavy. Big time. Big, time. Big heavy. <laughs> Big heavy. And I feel like that nigga loved it. He, I feel like he loved every second of being booed. He was just He's so like, I'm in. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because if you, because if you think about it, it works out perfect. They already hate him in Hollywood for uh, Black Adam. So, why not? <laughs> oh, you, you mean why? when he was using his his politics strength to do what he wanted to do? He was like, that's not working in Hollywood. Let me go do it in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I got more power here. Let's go. Let's go. You do. But, um, I mean, so how did you guys, before Cody came out, what did you actually think of The Rock's setup? Like the whole family tree of the uh, Ananoe family. Um, what he was kind of proposing for the match to be. Uh, did, did you like it? Did you dislike it? Did it make you interested more in a Roman rock match. We all that's right, brother Teach. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We all do. Yes. The Hall of Famer right Preach. there, man. The legend. The legend. I think I'm just more I don't necessarily <coughs> need, I mean I don't necessarily need a tag match. I don't know what that's gonna do or how how that pushes the needle for it. But to your point, Nick, when we was kind of talking about hypotheticals, it does get me more excited for if and if it does happen because i don't i don't necessarily see how nolo sees it although that sounds dope i see more so of another chess move to where 
I law roaming into this subconscious. I keep thinking I'm on your side, X, Y, Z, till we get to the end. I fuck you over. Now we setting up for 41. I'm more excited about what comes for the future, how that builds up. Because if 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 the build up towards Cena and Rock was solid, I when what I think could happen, this one could potentially be even better than that. So that's that's how I looked at it. But I mean, I'm not opposed to a tag if that's the route they're going. It just didn't really it didn't move the needle for me. Um, I think it did. It moved the needle for me because. For one, that's the match we wanted beforehand. Like we, be honest. Like before this this Cody story came about. You mean Cody? You mean Rock and versus Roman? Yeah, Rock versus okay. Roman. That's the match that we kind of we all was. But as soon as Roman had gotten to that, finally got solidified in that top spot. Like they were forcing yeah, it on, yeah. forcing on us, and then he got into it, and we all loved it. We're like, okay. We started playing with storylines in our heads and start saying that okay, maybe we need to see The Rock put Cody over. I mean Roman over as Matt. Cody. Let me ask you a question. I don't want to cut you out because I because I like where you're going. So I want to add this because as a boxing fan, do do you think it's do you think we should have got it beforehand when Roman was 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 locked in? It's kind of like sort of y'all looked at the Mayweather Pacquiao. How we felt like it should have been happened before it did. Do you feel that in this same space, or do you feel that the timing is is right right now? Because Roma had already been solidified for quite some time now. So do you feel maybe it should have happened beforehand, or it's just okay? This this feels more correct. I think I I feel both ways. I feel both ways. Yes, it should have happened maybe a little earlier, maybe last year. But we we got caught with a cliffhanger. We seen like another boxer come and emerge to where like they can be almost like right now with the if we want to keep it boxing with all right Spence Crawford right Spence yeah. Crawford the fight that we always wanted to see we got it boom but then again you got Boots in the in coming in Boot uh Jerron Boots Ennis from Philly and it's like okay now we want to see. Even though we got, even though Crawford and Spence was there, it was always an inkling. Okay, maybe we really want to see Boots versus Crawford because that would make a more compelling fight. And I think with that cliffhanger, it kind of not necessarily watered down the the Arrow and Crawford fight. Or if I go back to wrestling, the Roman and Rock fight. But it's something else we want to see on top of that, too. But eventually, we want to see, you know, the two, the the Roman and Rock. The, yeah. But they got to, in wrestling standpoint, you got to kind of fix that story back, like probably come around the block. And I think WWE doing a good job writing-wise of, okay, let's put them together. Let's put them together. And then now it's going to make more of an intriguing um story with he's talking about the tag match correct yeah the tag match and maybe something happens to where they they start the feud and it makes a more um authentic rivalry instead of just saying okay the rock come out of nowhere and okay takes a spot because i like that yeah because like we all know right now like cody deserves cody definitely deserves he's been in it night in night out but also that big blockbuster match roman deserves that because yeah. of what he's been doing as well. So do you feel like the belt needs to be on the line or just no, I think okay. delay. Just delay. I think the belt, the belt will be the belt. Like Cody winning the belt is gonna be the belt. But I think Roman put himself in almost and he's been doing it. Like he's been having a Mayweather esque type role. Uh, yeah, Mayweather, like who knew Mayweather was the WBC champ when he fought Pacquiao? Nobody, nobody even knew a belt was on the line. They just wanted to see who would win that to to get superiority in boxing. And I think that's where they're going with the Rock and Roman right now. Like no belt, even though we're getting it maybe a little later than what we expected, or maybe even we even wanted, but we still watched, we still watched them old bastards go at it. <laughs> and we still did it. And it, it did numbers. Was the fight actually? You know that's 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 go that, that's to your own judgment, but 
I think yeah. the build up to it would still be there with a better storyline. You get gotcha. what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of being forced to down up down our throat. Yeah. Cause Mayweather did yeah. his part. You know, he was still beating motherfuckers up. It was just Pacquiao had got knocked out, and that's what kind of watered it down. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh so I mean, I see what you're saying, Chaz, but I feel like both of our things can come true. <coughs> like, you don't really? think there's gonna be like some type of dissension? Something's gonna happen. Like Roman's cool with it now, right? Where he, where he is, uh, he knows like the way the family is. But as we've seen before, he is a monster that has been created. True. You think that his egotistical self is not eventually gonna look at his cousin and be like, "Yo, for real, you ain't been doing nothing." Like they talk about me not really being around here. You ain't been putting in no work in a very long time. Like, no, that's, minute, well, that's how I kind of feel like how Rock is looking at Roman. It's like, motherfucker, I never gave you the title. Who do you think you are? I'm I'm here to show you you still not him. And so you, you know what I mean? You know, you gotta be the man to beat the man. That's how I'm looking at it. But we see we we missing a an important element that was after the press conference. And so obviously Cody comes out, he protests the Rock and Roman match. He um he calls out Roman's grandfather, you know, what I mean, the Rock's grandfather. The Rock was like, yep. "No, sir, smack." <laughs> and then we, you know, we we had the we had this tension. But the I feel like the important detail that we're that people are talking about, but we're not really discussing, is how Roman looked next to the Rock. Right, Roman. Yeah, has, or right. Roman for since 2020 has felt like this unstoppable monster. Like Max said, like the guy. You know what I mean? But the second the Rock stepped into the frame before he smacked Cody, it felt like a little cousin hanging with his big cousin. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah. we have, and it's been a long time since we've seen Roman like that, right? Yeah. So yeah. if. Let's say it. Let's say that this is a long game. Let's say that WrestleMania 41 is where we're going to, right? It doesn't know. It doesn't make sense now for The Rock to be the babyface in this feud, right? Right. Right. So, like I said, the way I see it, the way I'm using the prediction, I like to see The Rock lean more into this like terrifying high chief role, right? You know what I mean? Obviously, he's the rock. Like, it'd be dope to me, like Max said, like a full circle moment. He actually goes back to the Rocky Maivia name. And he's called the mm. High Chief Rocky Maivia. Mm, and so tough. that'd be tough, a full circle moment. Everybody remembers when he was Rocky Maivia, was getting booed out of the crowd. Nobody wanted to see him. Now, Rocky mm. Maivia in 2024 is the most powerful man in in Hollywood, most powerful man in wrestling, X, Y, Z. I think in Roman's situation with this, it has to come down. (laughs) Yeah. Roman (laughs) has to lose if they do the tag team match. Let's say they do the tag match at night one and then Roman and Cody at night two. I think Roman should lose both of those matches. Mm-hmm. Like a like yeah. pin being being pinned clean, right? Yeah. And that because the story, the bloodline story continues right. the night after, right? You get to Monday Night Raw, the Rock pulls puts full blame on the just embarrassing the family X Y Z, and we see Roman like do what you know what I mean? Like, like I've been running this, I've been doing this, you know what I mean? And then The Rock says, well, not anymore. And then, boom, he's attacked by a debut in Jacob Fatu. Mm. So Solo can't do nothing about it. Jimmy can't do nothing about it. Heyman can't do nothing about it. And you have a new incarnation of the bloodline. Obviously, The Rock not going to be there every week. But yeah, the, right. focal point yeah. be, the focal point being Jacob Fatu. <clears throat> and then you just keep building and building until we get to the Roman return. Roman runs through everybody until he gets to the rock at 41. <coughs> That's tough. I like, I like it. it. I like it. That's like tough. It. The only reason why I hate hearing that is because it's not going to happen that way, but I like it. 
<laughs> yeah, we do. We do no, common sense around here, but it don't it don't go no further than the podcast. I'm afraid. Mm-hmm. Hey, so it is. So it is, you guys baby. do. So you guys think they're doing the tag match at at night one? Depending on, I, uh, I don't even know, uh, bro. It depends on it depends on the health of Seth, man. Like he, he, I don't think he's gonna be healthy enough. Depending, like no matter what he do. says or what he thinks, he's not gonna be healthy enough to do a whole match by himself. Because it ain't like WrestleMania is like two months away. It's hop skipping a jump from here. Back. It's a month and a half. Yeah, mm-hmm. like. Well, and they said this, there was a report. There was a report that said that um he good he, like he's got maybe like. Three more weeks and then he's good. Man, yeah. I could have tell because he was moving good. on that stage, brother. <laughs> and yeah, maybe because he was trying to protect the good leg, the stinky leg, cool. But it didn't look like WrestleMania deep to me. Yeah, man. I, I, I he was moving a little gingerly. Right. I don't know, man. Man, this man has been playing hurt forever now. I, you don't think he can play a little more hurt? Back hurt and knee hurt is different. Like, shoot it that, up, baby. That's what I was about. <laughs> At this point, it's been get do what they do in NBA or whatever, and, and get some work. Blitz the league, goddamn. Yeah, so, <laughs> please do stuff. <laughs> so, look, Seth got those uh water balloon knees. Yeah, pop. I'm just gonna pop it. I'm just gonna pop it any minute. <laughs> Any moment, but so okay, so that here's the thing, right? If they don't do the tag team match, obviously that's what it seems like they're doing, right? But let's say hypothetically they do the tag match at night one, uh, night one. They do the title matches for night two. What if somebody gets hurt during the tag match? Jesus, well, and and you know what's crazy? The way it's been going, it seems like every couple months another superstar go out. And then you got game. the rock, and you know the rock gonna gas at like at least by the time halfway he's done with his entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say ninety seconds, but man, you gave it worse. Good God! I need a blow. He might need a blow, baby. He got hurt the last WrestleMania, didn't he? Yeah, he tore his. Yo, he tore his. I'm sure he tore his neck, didn't he? So his ab, right. his abdominal wall or some shit. Oh, I thought it was pec. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I hope I hope not. But hell, now he now he fifty one. Damn. So basically, <laughs> if they gonna do it, y'all are claiming that it should be on night one, night two, and not just one night. Well, you know no, what? Be I'm because, like you said, okay. Cause they, yeah, I'm thinking about Seth, and then damn, <laughs> what about Baylor and Eo? Ah! <laughs> but damn, I mean, but damn, I mean, I mean, they no, okay. damn, changes? what about them? Yeah, That's Seth? a good storyline. No, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm about to say honestly, but, I can see them being like if they don't do the tag match, I can see them being like the night one I, main event. No, I need y'all both to be. You don't realistic. think so? I need y'all I'm realistic. realistic. The I'm main realistic. event, if you're the main event for night one, if they were doing the women, is Rhea and Becky. Yeah, that absolutely, wrong. that would absolutely be the main event. You're not wrong. Eo oh, and I'm Bailey, not, yeah, yeah, Eo, yeah. Everything else, yeah, yeah. Eo and Bailey is a phenomenal match that would do great. Fifth on night two, you know what I mean? Like, that, that's that is a mid that. I'm being for real. That is a middle of the card match. As much as I would love for it to be the main event, as he much didn't as say Bailey the, he didn't say the first, he didn't say the <laughs> right in the middle. A good, a good intermission match to get us to the <laughs> case in point. If it was even a slight idea that it would have been a main event of one of the nights, yeah. how come neither one of them were at the the kickoff? The kickoff. Right, Who was right. at the kickoff? Hey. A match that technically hadn't even been announced yet. Nope. But, but, but Jade and, B- Jade and Bianca with it. <coughs> we ain't see Jade. She, oh, she was Bianca there. Was she was there. I oh, mean, she okay, was okay. there, yeah, but, yeah, but she, there. Went, right. she right. went on the stage. Right, right. I thought she might have been on the stage. Damn, Bailey. Damn, Eo. 
What can you do? What is this? So they do the they do the tag match, right? Obviously, we know it's Cody Roman the way that it should be. What about the world heavyweight title? Who does Seth go against? You know, what I mean, obviously they're doing the elimination chamber, but is it Drew? Do you add what is Sami Zayn's role in all this? You know what I mean? Cody is setting up the Avengers. It seems like all this is being intertwined because Cody's like, hey, I can't beat these niggas by myself. <laughs> I need some help. I, I LA, goddamn me. right. Goddamn right. <laughs> I need a Put team. A on LA Knight. LA Knight going against uh, uh, AJ. At WrestleMania, yeah, that was uh, number yeah, two. That's probably that's probably gonna happen. <laughs> number that is a uh, match number two on that <laughs> one. Yeah, on the second night too. Though. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> a good a a spirited eight minute match. Eight minutes. Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, I can see them opening it. Oh, you mean I can see them opening? I can see them. No, not the kickoff show. Opening the show. <laughs> Come on, dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. I, that was that was low. I was. I probably like my bad. My bad. My bad. Because you already know what's about to happen. Elimination chamber. AJ about to cost that man the, his chance. Then L- LA made it in the. I, I didn't finish watching Raw last night. He made it in the match. He's in the chamber. Yeah, match. LA's in it. Okay. Yeah, okay. LA beat LA okay. beat uh, Ivar. So who is this so far? Okay. Is LA Randy? No, not um. It's Randy. You right? Okay, Randy, Drew, Drew, and Bobby, Big Bob. Ashley. Okay, yeah, Bob. That, so that's so it. they got four. They have two more matches. Okay. Logan Paul and Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> yeah, they got Honestly, I can see it. I, yeah, honestly. yeah. <laughs> you already know Logan Paul going to be in it. So it's yeah. pretty much – so it's just between – uh, put. They got to put the work of Dirty Dom in there. I think Dirty Dom need to get the IC strap. That's probably going to take my boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. I mean, I'm you know, maybe not now, but I I eventually see Jay getting that. Uh, yeah, if Jay not Jay it. or Chad. I don't see Jay going. I don't think Jay gonna get it. Really? He, nah. Hey, he's no, not shit out of Delta, by the way. Not yet. Not right now. That's what I'm saying. Not right now. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying ever. Okay. It would be. It would. You know what? I would not be mad if Jay won the title on Monday. I would not be mad. Nah. Right. I would not yeah. be mad. Gunther has Gunther's <laughs> reign is he's already got his his record. He good. He the solidified intercontinental champion. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He could lose that. His status is solidified. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's an house. I mean, I would like it for Jay on a pay per view stage, but I mean, yeah, I'm not opposed to. It. When's the last time a title changed on uh, Ross Matter? Y'all know. Uh, uh, okay, don't worry about what, it. Wait, wait, what? What belt? Like, what belt are we talking? Just about? I guess between the IC and, and the heavyweight. When was the last 24-7 title defense? Stop it, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, the last heavyweight was la- – no, it was no. Uh, Big E. Big E. Because Big E beat yeah, last He cashed in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is this nigga dominant, uh, Damian Priest doing with the briefcase? How's he factoring in all this? There's damn. so much, like, half. There's so much happening that I just God, love it. Damn, he I forgot about that. He ain't about to do nothing. He ain't about to do nothing. You know how uh <laughs> you know how Lola Vice, you know how Lola Vice got into that match? And um, lost and and lost. And lost. <laughs> Damian Priest. Damian Priest, yo, it's coming, it's almost coming up on a year, dog. <laughs> he about to pull an Austin Theory. God, he damn. technically, he technically has until Jan, I think they said July 2nd to cash in. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He can do a yeah, little, he, got, he can do a little cash. He can do a little cash in maybe like mid mid May. Do you want to see that? All right. <laughs> no, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, on. I'm sorry. My apologies. Has he earned it? Yeah. Yes. Did this come at the worst time? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's all this is. It just yeah, came at the yeah. worst time. Yeah, yeah. No, this is terrible this time. Is that I've seen the roster in a long time. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, is yeah. it didn't really change. They actually depleted the roster a little bit, far as the the number of wrestlers that's been on there. But the build up, like WWE development of the characters that they had that they're doing now, made it seem like a super stacked roster to where like they can somebody do get hurt, like it can go to this person in the ball. Right. Doesn't really drop tremendously like it would have in the 
2016 and 17 and something like that. You know, what I'm is saying? it fair to say that this is between you three, this is the most talented and stacked roster you've seen, or or at least top five? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's up yes. there. It's, it's, it's up there, bro. It's up there. They can legit do an Armageddon hell in the cell right now if they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's, the, here's the thing, right? I saw a lot of people last week because obviously the rumor or, you know, I mean, it's been official. Uh, Kazucho Okada is going to AEW officially. And I saw a lot of people say that we got to talk about Triple H fumbling these these free agents. And number one, Triple H is not the head of talent relations. So Triple H does not have anything to do with talent being signed. So that's not on him. Talent right. acquisition is not his job. That's not exactly. He, you know, he can like be like, hey, let's open the conversations with this person. <clears throat> but <clears throat> in, in the grander scheme of things, they've already proven they didn't need Jay White. They didn't need Okada. They don't need a lot of people like the, these consensus free agents. They have – it really feels like the Attitude Era, again, where you could slot anybody in a main event spot and it does not feel out of place. Yeah. Everybody's game has – and that's from the men, the women. Yep. You got you got people in the, in the, in the backstage area, the higher-ups – considering a talent from NXT and Trick Williams to be a future main event at WrestleMania. You know what I mean? Like that means you have a whole, you got a whole roster that's being developed right now. They don't mm -hmm. need the free agents just like they did in the past. A company like AEW, they need that. And they're right. now getting to a point. They don't need every free agent. Right. 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 But yeah, no, the roster right now is absolutely at its at, uh, the best. Yeah, I definitely don't need like they good. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like why do you like really just be like just get in fatter for no reason? Like you just want to sign people just to have them, just like I'm just to have them on like, the bench. Like I'm supposed to be upset that they didn't sign Ricky Starks. Who cares? <laughs> you know I mean, well, like, damn, well, 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 damn, Ricky, Ricky, and also, no. <laughs> also. It is it could be a tool to a like let let AEW sign them, you know what I mean? Let them run it run their money out or not even like run them dry, but just give them the money that they that that talent want, build them up, and then put another offer up there. Like, look, we're the bigger company, like on paper, off paper, on TV. Look. You can do anything to get exposure now. Hell, people can watch you on fucking X if you're a mid carter and still go crazy. Like WWE is setting themselves up to be like, all right, go over there if you want, get your cachet up, and then boom, we'll scoop you up when you fire red hot, and then live your dream on this side. Just go over there. So that leads to the perfect transition because on March 13th. AEW is coming to the TD Gardens in Boston, Massachusetts. And it is called AEW Dynamite Big Business. And if you look closely at the poster, there is boss then with the money signs. So that mm -hmm. means one thing and one thing only. Ted DiBiase is making ah, his WWE ah, You know what I mean? A million dollar man. You know what I mean? <laughs> No, I don't know who I don't know who Ted gonna be managing, but I'm ready. <laughs> he should be managing a prison right now, but that's we need to hear nor there. Yeah, he should. Yeah, bro. Him and Brett Favre chilling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. But no, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, <laughs> it's looking like obviously this is being done in design. You know what I mean? Like they haven't announced anything, but I think you could read between the lines. We all know see. who it is. Money, boom, 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 boom. Money, boom, 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 boom. Come on, son. Talk. I, I still don't like that that theme like that. Really, I don't like it. So, I mean, I like the move, but I don't like the theme. That's I all. got you. 
do you think that uh, would you take that theme over any Def Rebel theme? Mm, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like that you thought about it. I, I do that. I, I tried. That. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying for a second. I was about to say, "Damn, I got to lie to myself." Yeah, yeah, but obviously, <laughs> it's looking like the eventual debut of Mercedes Monet on AEW. Um, well, actually, we don't know that. We don't know that. We can't speculate. It I might mean, not be her. You know it, how wild it might that be. be the be <laughs> Athena in interviews talking about facing someone. That, that <laughs> that's that's <a> wild. <laughs> Shout out to Lyric, by the way. That interview was dope. <laughs> Um, but the reason why I bring this up, and I think that it was a perfect transition, is exactly what Max said because I did see a conversation that took place about people going to AEW to essentially have their fun, get their dream matches in. But are there wrestlers out there that have left WWE that after a while in AEW they want to go back to WWE? You know what I mean? Andrade is a perfect, perfect example. You know what I mean? Like, Andrade was in AEW. Ready to fight him. Ready, ready to get out of his contract. <laughs> Has a lot of edge, too, right now. I you think like so? you have an edge like you I didn't think time, I didn't think that I didn't think that was real because Brandy Cutler said it. So okay, no. well. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really. Think, I took that with a grain of salt. I took that as they're probably just gonna feud at some point. I was gonna say WWE probably don't even want Edge back. Probably not. Them niggas was trying to get rid of him. Man, we're good. They wanted him to show up when they wanted him to show up. That was it. Oh, <laughs> uh, but no. Um, if we do see Mercedes make her debut. What do you think the long term gain here is from this? You know what I mean? Like, is this revamping their AEW women's division? You know what I mean? Is this moving the needle? I think it's a needle mover, but obviously time will tell. But what do you guys think? I mean, it's obviously a needle mover. You're talking about a, a woman that got a New Japan show <laughs> sold out off her name alone mm. in on the West Coast. Like, wherever she goes, she bring she's gonna bring some eyes, and honestly, mm. this could be like the the <laughs> new major step in new in their process. Let's 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 just be optimistic for a second. And they're <laughs> that this is their first step in like revamping the women's division and making it a priority and making it stronger and getting better. We've seen some stars and people that are soon to be stars in AEW, like slowly moving up, getting uh momentum so having such a big star like probably the hottest free agent come in to the old, uh, organization i don't see what could go wrong here unless you decide not to use it correctly and just fumble it they have a tendency to do so yeah it, it's uh, it's up to them to really fumble that bag right there because she definitely gonna bring the eyes in the in the uh the cachet with her because i mean she doesn't really need a big promotion now as she's proven already going to you know different promotions and selling out like her her even she don't even need the the wwe name of sasha banks anymore like she could just go off of you know, mercedes monet and still kill it so it's really up to them to the um, to use her correctly to build off of that because they they in dire need as i quite stated when it started off that <laughs> AEW was going to be in this position one day. I did say that, bro. It's looking a little 2000 WCW right now. <laughs> Damn. I, I don't yeah, think it's that bad. Damn. It's bad. I don't think it's that bad. I think I think they <clears> definitely <throat> are doing the right things and taking better steps to do what needs to be done personally. That's just how I view it. Uh I know you're not the biggest AEW fan. I know you I don't know the last time you watched the show, brother, but I just see it as them taking the right steps to get on the right path. That's all. Like I, mean, I think hey 
They got they got hey, they had Zach Sab what they had like Zach Sabre Jr. versus uh Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. That was at Wrestle and, Dream, yeah. Uh, and that should have been way bigger than it was supposed to be, bro. Like that. You can I just two, go ahead? Can I just say Danielson and Sabre Jr. just had a match at they the did. beginning on yep. Sunday? Yes, they did. They did. Nick nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Go watch, nigga. Yo. Yeah. No, yep. I'm saying the, the match. The match probably was phenomenal, but I'm talking about should have been built up bigger a lot. in AEW. Yeah. Like, How, yeah, yeah. More, but like, what more do you want? <laughs> Just cause you like, okay, you are. I can't even call you a casual AEW fan. You are someone who <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> that, that, that literally doesn't like it. So of course, it's not going to grab your attention. You probably didn't even see the first uh, Daniel Sid and Zack Sabre Jr. match. Who says I didn't? Oh, I'm asking. Okay, I'm asking you now. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't watch that shit. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, if you you coming at it differently. Like a lot of people was paying attention to it. A lot of people did. It got eyes. Like that was probably what that was definitely the like the match on the card for real. It was, but, but no. like, I'm just saying, it should have caught a casual like me to be like, all right, I, I should be more invested into this match. But you, but but you know what though, like like going back to Mercedes and why I actually think that this is the best signing AEW could have done. I think this is bigger than Punk. I think this is bigger than Osprey, than Okada, than Jericho. I think this is the most important signing they've done because. Off the strength of typical pro wrestling, they hire these like men wrestlers and they like they can fill them in these roles. You right? Mercedes is not coming into AEW without having the conversation, like, yo, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna move the needle. We're going to have more than one women's match on dynamite. I guarantee you will see that shift when she comes into the company. You know what I mean? Like. You've opened the door, you know what I mean? Like, um, Rosie Ogawa has left stardom. And apparently, that was the reason why stardom and AEW wasn't doing talent exchanges like that. Now, we might see that because of the influence of Mercedes Monet. I said on Twitter the other day, we got the CL CMLL invasion, right? I would love to see some of the luchadoras make their way. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much that Sasha or Mercedes could bring to the promotion. And then on top of that, from a visual aspect, from a cat for a casual fan, people are going to tune into what she's doing because they know her on a casual side. Yep. So I think in, <clears throat> I think for her, and I agree with you, man, like there's definitely times where like, I'm a you know a wrestling a big wrestling fan. I want to see like a Saber Jr. and Danielson get promoted to like big main event fields, but the game is the game, you know what I mean? I don't think Mercedes will allow that to happen. And I and to to go along with your point, it just for me now it's uh like we always said before, like you know, there's no more excuses. You've been in the game for a good amount of years now. A lot of the players came from the the a show um with this signing that remo that removes any level of you know there's no a lot it's not a lot of room for eric more right and like you said mercedes being who mercedes is and i think <clears throat> her this signing her leaving before was probably bigger than anything because she really took a bet on herself and it could have it could have failed miserably right because not to say we didn't see the potential of what Mercedes could be in WWE, we just, I, for honestly, I didn't know it was going to be like this now. And that's not a knock on her. It's just that I didn't know where she was going to take her career. So the fact that she was able to do all these things and now come back around to where her name is just higher than anything, you really have a, a chance now, again, stop trying to aim to be WWE because it's just never going to happen. But just aim to be the best AEW you can be. Aim to be the best second show you be. Aim to continue to push wrestling forward because this is a great era that we as fans get to sit back and enjoy. Man, we really do got a solid second option that can that can take us, you know, past 
uh, 10 years and 15 years or whatever the case may be. So I, for me, like you said, Nick, everything she brings and everything she is, it's just going to take what I what I hope and what I envision is going to take AED to the next level as long as management don't fuck it up. And I also think at, at this point in time, moving forward, it's going to be time for TK to step back and let Daniel Bryanson do what he do. I just want to put some more uh let's put some more uh status on Mercedes for sure. on their name for sure. because if you remember correctly for her debut in Japan, did you remember how many people stayed or still either got up or stayed up until 4 a.m. to watch her match? <laughs> the amount of people I saw on Twitter going crazy and like tired, look at look at nuts. Just like, man, I ain't never watched a New Japan show in my life. And they was like, I'm here. I'm like, got to stay. Got to watch my girl. Locked in. Look, I yes. can't wait for Mercedes Monet and Britt Baker. That shit stop is going to move mountains. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Y'all saying stop it like it's not going to happen. Stop. I didn't say I didn't say it's not going to happen. I'm just it's saying. that's, that's Five like stars. I mean, she might be able to pull it out. Britt going to carry that girl. She need to go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, go ahead. Right. Get off the screen. Get All right, though. man. I wish go we ahead. could mute. I wish we could mute. Show. <laughs> go to bed. No, no, tired. No. It's not thir- Thursday. So close, bro. I feel yeah, you. Definitely forty in that cup. <laughs> man, got some vodka in there. Something. Yeah, something. Something. <laughs> but this water is saving my life right now. <laughs> That's what's hey, keeping man. me awake. Amen. Uh, do oh, real quick, is anybody here on this podcast a fan of Pop Tarts? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not against yeah. Pop Tarts. I love them. No, the, the guy who invented on. the guy who invented them passed away today. Oh, uh, man. RIP. So, 90, rest in peace, to, Rest in peace to a real one. For sure. Yeah, man. Hey, the frost, the frosted strawberry is always my favorite. Woo! The, That's the, ridiculous. The s'mores, okay. Bro. Hey, hey, man. Hey. It went triple platinum from where I'm from. Shit, the hey, s'mores look. went quadruple platinum. Well, bro, you had that s'more. S'mores was I feel that's a diamond. That's diamond. Okay, so and I'm the cinnamon with you. The Me cinnamon. and s'mores ain't the we we don't like s'mores for real. So that's why I don't really it don't really hit me. Mm. That's all. I ain't gonna lie though, Nolo. When it comes to like sweets, I don't really trust your judgment on a lot of things. I told you, I'm not a big sweet yeah, guy. I know that's what I'm saying. So that's why I don't really pay attention <laughs> to anything you say. Yeah, you don't have like to, when you said you got to. like when you said. Like when you said frosted strawberry, I almost removed you from the from the stage. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, I'm admin too. I can come back. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> That's all good. Hey, you should view you should view my opinion on sweets like we view D Mac's opinion on AEW. Damn. That's crazy, but that's, I get that it. is wow. <laughs> that, that is insane. <laughs> hey, I was Damn. Like, I don't like it. Was that got called for, brother? <laughs> it was a shot. It makes sense. Oh, it was a stud missile. God, it was a shot. It's Ooh. the truth. It's the truth. It's not the shot. It wasn't meant to be derogatory or mal- malicious in any way. It was just that the might truth. be the realest shit you ever wrote, right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey man, I'm just yeah, that was top. That was top three. That was top three. That was top three. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, man, speaking that. of that's, that, was speaking. almost like when I said uh, Rhino looked like uh, retired abyss. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's top two. Talking <laughs> <laughs> so like about WWE producer abyss. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> That's top two, and not number two. <laughs> oh my god! Um, he didn't cut that shit off his head, man. He was bullshitting with that shit. Yeah, that <laughs> like his whole family stressed him out. <laughs> Speaking of um, your best friend stabbing you in the back, Carmelo oh, Hayes turned on Trent Williams. Oh yeah. man! Oh, oh boy! So Ooh. obviously, we were we were recording with our, our brothers reasonable. Um, as Vengeance Day was happening, but we turned it off in order to watch Trick Williams and uh, Dragon off. First of all, amazing match, excellent match. Amazing. Um, Trick Williams, man, he really he's the one, man. I, I think he is the next face of the company, man. Like that dude got it. Hey, that dude, bro, when got it, I I knew he had it 
But when he went to when he showed up at SmackDown to save Melo, and I heard the arena of WWE fans whoop saying that whoop that trick. trick. I said, Oh, I said, Oh, it's like this. Got it. Okay. Pop. Got it. Pop. Okay. But after he had the uh, amazing. Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, no, you're fine. All I was gonna say, you, you know everybody in like all WWE fans will be paying attention to NXT. They don't, they don't. So, so yeah, getting that type of chance. <laughs> But after having the amazing I match, which is <laughs> what you say, I feel, I feel a hit. <laughs> I felt another hit. <laughs> oh, oh, I wouldn't even say that to her. <laughs> no, nah, but it's a hit dog and holler. Like, <laughs> I thought you at least watched NXT sometimes. I, I, watch, I watch Carmelo and uh, Jake every now and then. I catch it every now and then. I got you. So, you know, what I mean, trick. Lost the dragon off spirited match. Carmelo gets him up. Hey man, we go get him, baby. We go get him. And then you see, once you see that logo pop on the screen, that's like a sign of death right there. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. So over and it ain't. Like, wait a minute. They still they still moving. What the fuck happened? Uh oh. Tricks, <laughs> tricks, tricks, tricks started walking. Carmelo turned around. He had that that look in his eye. That Hickam yeah, look then, that, with the with the left eye, the the, the one that's. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He was looking. He was looking both ways. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Biggie, like Biggie in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> that's because he had to look. At, he got to keep an eye on Diddy, bro. That's yeah. right. That's, not, that's the only reason. <laughs> that's right. Oh, Damn, but um, man. that's cold. We ain't shit. Like, shall shall be catching all the strays. Hey dog, we blocked, so I care less. <laughs> we are. That's, I mean, that's I still don't. wild, bro. Like, cause is that, it? It's just wild. It's, it's wild. It, you know what? Have you seen? I, you know have what? you seen what he posted? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm taking a guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking a guess that his right eye was looking at the follow button, and his left eye accidentally clicked on block. It's all good. It's not a big deal, right? It's not a big deal, but let's talk about let's talk about Hickenbottom's son Carmelo, right? In his heel turn, right? My black finally, son. <laughs> my black son, yeah. It finally <laughs> happened. Um, how are we feeling? You know what I mean? Uh, let's start with the person that swore up and down that he was innocent. No low. <sighs> okay. Again, technically, like I said. You when see, you no, you're moving the goalpost. Me. You're moving the goalpost. I didn't move the goalpost. <laughs> you're moving the goalpost. I, I didn't move the goalpost. <laughs> you I said he was said it. No, no, no. No I said that. that he was innocent of attacking him. I never he said did he was going to attack him. He said, no, he yeah. I, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the point. Let me, hey, hey, okay, all right. You know what? You know what? My bad for trying to support a black man. Oh, it, trying to try oh, to think boy. that I want to okay believe to, him. It's go. okay to just say that you were wrong, brother. Oh no, I was going to. I was going to yeah. say I was wrong. No, but you're, you're like you're putting you're putting asterisks yeah. on asterisks on asterisks. I purposed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, your big word I, hey, don't hey. prevent the swerve, my brother. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, here you go. Chaz, talk to me. Mac, Scotland. All right. I, Solo Nolo Green, was wrong and thinking that my brother, Carmelo Hayes, was not the one to attack him. That's all. Okay. You happy? You got it. We good. Brian, man, seeing that shit. That's not the point. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I was right till I was wrong. Nigga, you was always wrong. What the fuck you talking about? No. Nah. You, right. you never nah. was right. Nah, dog. We have video evidence. Of what? That he wasn't the one to do it. He said At he first. did it. Later. Later. Like I said, I was right till I was wrong. The fact and that I ended up being wrong. Admitted and then spin the block again to re-backtrack. Boy, you 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 Sick. a diabolical nigga, Nola. I tell you that, man. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> You admitted hey. your fault. Then was like, "Now nah, fuck that. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, clean this up. shit up." 
All I'm saying is like an old movie I seen when dude was clearly cheating on his woman. And he was like, I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. And the lady was still like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I ain't doing that. I don't know what you're hey, talking about. First of all, <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Oh, no, I heard that. that. Mm-hmm. Can you, yo, can y'all hear me okay? Yeah, you good? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, okay. You say deny, 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 just like Carmela Hayes did. So, oh, I mean, they, birds hey. of a feather. Birds of a feather flock together. Top heels stick with top heels. So I would never, I would never turn my back on y'all. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> don't, don't trust them. This nigga is diabolical. You was an evil fact, motherfucker. <laughs> matter of fact, one day, one day uh, when we used to do the podcast at a uh, No Little Crib, you know what mm-hmm. I seen in his bedroom? A Wait, black what's that, bro? Jacket. A black, black leather thing. jacket. <laughs> hey, bro, you ain't got, got a black, black leather jacket? jacket. Who me? I told you. Oh, you ain't got one. Oh, you ain't got a black leather jacket. <laughs> nah, my brother. <laughs> no, you ain't got a black leather jacket. <laughs> no. Oh, well, damn. Okay, shit. I thought they was fashionable. No, no Michael's in the building. Backstab. No, no Michael's in the building. <laughs> hey, bro. But I love the storyline that they even put to it, like even down to the detail of him yeah. wearing the black yeah. leather jacket, dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. why we didn't see that shit. They they put it like they had it right there in front of our fucking face. Okay, he wore a black leather jacket. The like, beautiful thing been- about the beautiful thing about Shawn Michaels booking NXT, all he's doing is rehashing his old storylines because they worked yep. and they're they working now. <laughs> Like, two things you're gonna get. Thing. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say two thing, things like, with, Trick, with Trick being the Diesel S character, bro. Like the details, damn, was, the damn, fucking details, damn, man. The yeah. inner, uh, uh. But but you know what? Can I? I'm gonna say this, and I feel like I feel like this is a safe space, right? I'm glad Carmelo is back to being a heel for the simple mm-hmm. fact that like babyface Carmelo was cool. But it yeah. wasn't. It won't him. Hitting, you know what I mean? Like it, won't it him. Won't him. You so know he what I mean? Healed, he was healed. He was healed because I came back late, so he was healed before the baby face run. Yeah, yes. you don't watch him. Uh, he was. He was this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was that he was. was <laughs> to help, to help, <laughs> to help you out, Shane. He was. He was basically healed until he started going for the uh, the world title. title. The title, mm, the NXT title. Mm, mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, no, like I just felt like something was missing on the baby face front. And I got kind of not worried for him as a as a performer because he's a phenomenal performer. But when Trick started blowing up, I was like, damn, you how you let your man's eclipse you like this? Like, what happened? He, he did what Memphis Bleak was supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he got a hit. 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 Ron Hill. That's not what I'm trying to say, bro. And it was solid. But Myth was supposed to be up there. Joel Santana was supposed to be up there. And they never did. Like Jay said, one hit away. He could always be one hit away. Yeah, you trick right. at least okay. got it. Yeah. That's all. That's all I was saying. I, trick, I won't say. Said, hey, fuck that. Hey, is that your chick? It's fire. Sure is. It's a great song. Fire it did is. too. Fire subliminal. Yeah, it's indeed. Sadly, I don't know how you came out with a, a album with when the best song of your album you're not even featured on. Dear summer. <laughs> hey, it happened to Wayne too, though. It happened to Wayne. Wayne did the same thing. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne on the Carter Four. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I think it's uh, when Dwayne, he used to have when he Dwayne, when he had all the rappers like do yeah, like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. About the yeah. 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 Yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> but he was. That's another top. But yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Oh, Carmelo on TV now. Hey, oh. him. Him, so nah, clearly, I, my bad. Go ahead. 
Oh no, I was saying um I think like with the with the heel turn and like the the promo that he did last Tuesday, mm-hmm. it brought him back to the to where he needed to be. You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> like somebody said, like it felt like we weren't watching Carmelo Hayes, we were watching Christian Casanova, you know what I mean? For those that remember, mm-hmm. for those that know that know, you know what I mean? But what I love about this culture season, great tag team. But what I love about this is that when Trick Williams returns, Woo! the ass Woo! whooping that's coming Woo! in Carmelo's future, dog. Hey, that that pop Woo! is gonna move mountains, as they say. Like they might goddamn not. cocaine in the eighties. That's just gonna be it, 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 They might not stop chanting when he comes out. Nah, he gonna really they, whoop that trick the entire time. <laughs> that's all. That match might be on WrestleMania. I would love it. I would that would be dope. It's definitely gonna be a stand to deliver, but that's gonna it would be dope though. Damn, forgot about that shit. Did y'all see the um did y'all see the promo Carmelo did? Like, you know, I think I don't know if it was shown on TV, but it was definitely shown on Twitter where he walking back and he had the chair and um Shreddy came and asked him a question. He stopped her, he looked at the chair and he was like, whooped. And he walked off. No, <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, God, damn. God. Damn. Oh, man. damn. It's little things Woo. that, you know what I mean? That's yes. little things that mm. that makes NXT above AEW. You know what I mean? Like, we, we creating stories out here. Can't, can't so, say you wrong, my brother. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> yeah. that's the question, right? <laughs> We get the stand to deliver. Obviously, that's got to be the main event, right? No matter what, no matter if Dragonoff is defending the title, that's got to be the main event, right? No, yeah. it's the it's the biggest storyline in, in yeah. NXT. Yeah, just making sure easily. Just making sure, we on the, just making sure we on the same page. And what you call it? Uh, <laughs> and Melo losing <laughs> off to the main roster. You go. Yep. Yeah, he got to go to the main roster. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, we don't even get a we don't even get a few months a few months feud. We we ended all right at standard delivery. Yeah, yeah yo, I don't... yo, if I'm gonna keep it real with you, I wouldn't even bring trick back until about halfway th- like what the second weekend or the second Tuesday in March. Oh, you want him to sell it. Yes. You want sell that, that... that K fave. You want that K fave. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Bring it yeah. back. You know what? I'll, I'll I'll even raise you one. He shouldn't even return till stand and deliver. Ooh. Carmelo it calls is- him a Carmelo calls him a coward, and that'd be the final. You know what I mean? Like, like you can build like the main event as whatever Dragon All's title defense is, but then right. Carmelo comes out at the end of the show, and then you just have this this rumble. Mm, I like mm. it. A lot of lot of layers, a lot of levels, a lot of ways. I like it. Lots of things you can go with this. Lots of ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, boys. That's what I'm saying. Um, anything else on on the uh, Carmelo trick front before we move we move on our our debate? I'm all good, brother. We are good. We good. Trick gonna win. So, trick gonna win the NXT title at, at one point, right? You got oh, question. Or you, question. I was, got, got I was gonna add because I was gonna be like, <laughs> does he need it? Because I don't think he really needs it, but I you think mean, I think, think, you don't think really you don't think you need it. I well think, it'll I be think nice to have it'll be nice to see. He because it'll be an accolade, it. it'll yeah. be a moment and an accolade, but I think he's like to the point that like honestly, if you had him go up like Shortly after, or or when uh, Mello does, and you just separate them, like put one on one show, put one on the other show, and then kind of let them cook and do their own things. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then you can eat. And then even for real, when they get to the main roster, like Trick Mello game comes back together at some point because that's so they can break up like Triple H and Shawn Michaels again. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, (laughs) thank you, thank you. I just think because I don't think it's over. I think don't get me wrong, because hey, Sean, Sean and, and Paul uh went at each other all the damn time. And it was back and forth. She was beautiful. <laughs> but I, and then let, 20, me, and then 20, let me go ahead. I was gonna say in 20 years, Carmelo's running 
head of creative at WWE, Trick Williams. <laughs> and, 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 and just keep going. Bro, just keep it flowing. Just keep it flowing. Yes, sir. I, yes, let sir. me let me clean up what my my last statement. I don't think he ne- I don't think he needs it because we all know that Trick is money right now. Like yeah. he can go anywhere right now and make bukus of, of 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 dollars. Like being him. I think the company of NXT needs him as that champion to to keep that going, especially if they're gonna put Carmelo in, you know, on the main roster. They about to like Brian Baker right now is like he's overdue on a on yeah. the main roster, and they doing yeah. the whole. So you need uh, that you need deal. that person that's gonna carry the torch, right? The torch. Because. Yeah. That's a that's still that's still a third promotion for WWE, right. yeah. And they need somebody to build that off of until they get the next person. You know what I'm saying? And so far as developmental wise, I think they, as the company, they need it, and also him too, just to see you know how he can move a company on his own without having that that person behind him as you know or on side of him, right? Right. I like it. No, nah, me too. Me too. Um, so I I would just like to say that February 7th will always hold a special place in my heart because it was on Talk February to me, 7th. Talk to that you, bro. The GOAT, the legend, the man, hmm. the icon, Sting. Sting, Sting. And his, Sting and his white child won. The AEW <laughs> World Tag Team Championship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, so, let me tell boys. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've been waiting a long time for this to see some AEW going on on Sting. You know, you I mean? have. And, you've been, and, you've been, you've been and, ringing that bell since he got there. Since the game started, bro. And keep in mind, like the true growth that he is, right? He didn't even want to win the titles, but they were like yeah. they had to coerce this man. Be like, hey, bro, you do realize that you and your mans, you and your child are undefeated. Like, y'all mm-hmm. earned a title shot technically in the that's, K-Fame tournament. That's so crazy to me that they haven't lost. No, no. like, I would have thought at least, like, you know, one, whatever the fuck, for whatever reason. But nah. that's crazy. Nah. Never lost. That is, that's dope as fuck, man. Now, while I am elated that my, my GOAT is the – the true AEW champion. Um, I am not happy with. Yeah. I am not happy with his 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 final opponents being right. the right. the young bucks. You know what I mean. I've gone back to hating them. 100%. I guess yeah. that's, we, that's fair. We. I got two thousand. I got two thousand nineteen energy with the bucks now. <laughs> yeah, we we back with the hate. Them niggas are but trash. listen, listen. I just want to let say this, and I know because you're a fan. Your man's wanted it though. The he brother's sixty-five. It. He's sixty-five years old, man. He probably could get easily manipulated, man. You know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> the citizens and everything. You know what I mean? With the with the uh, idea that you got uh, a big match. Well, you say his, 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 the, the brain ain't necessarily clicked on that moment. This man jumping off of cliffs, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> balconies. That's what I'm saying, man. Like okay, that's why. I, there, there, look, there, there were other opponents I, I would have slotted in that spot, but you know what? If my goat wants that, my goat gets that. You know what I mean? But anyway, I personally I thought I personally thought it was gonna be Darby. I knew like, they were gonna do a tag team match, and oh. I knew like, yeah, I knew it was gonna be a tag team match. I just didn't think it was gonna be the Young Bucks. When you say Darby, you thought he was gonna turn? No, just like have like, like he's been basically his son for yeah. this entire time, so. Time oh, for his okay. son to put him out the pasture. I got you. Yeah. Hey, awesome. look, Darby is hurt after Sting retires because nobody's gonna want to see that name. Hell no, and we then... didn't want to see that name. Hey, to be honest, it but... just, just, just so happens. But fuck it. But the reason why we bring up Sting, obviously, to, to sing him his praise, but. A debate sparked, and it's been a long debate. It's been a debate that's been happening for, what, over nearly 30 years now? Mm -hmm. Between who is better and who is your preference between Sting and The Undertaker? 
But before we get into this conversation, can I just say something about this debate? Go for it. Lord, this Lord. debate, this debate is fucking stupid. And I'm gonna tell you why, right? Yeah. <laughs> People compare Sting and The Undertaker all the time. Bro, we're talking about apples and oranges. We are talking about a mythical zombie and the crow vigilante, right? Two different characters. Niggas just want to see the entrance. Y'all don't really care about who's better between Sting and the Undertaker. They're not the same, right? No. They don't wrestle the same. They don't get down the same. The only thing that's similar between the two is that they wore the um the tight, <coughs> the you know, the long the long boys with the straps. Yeah. yeah. That's the only yeah. thing that's the same. But I guess some trench coats. Yeah, coats. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> so the way I want to break this down for you guys is, I, you know, I'm going to shoot off some uh, some categories, and you tell me who is better and who, you know, what I mean, like who who got who got the who got the juice, all right? Okay, all right. Entrances, who is better? Oh damn! The mm. fans, uh, man. Uh, mm. it, it if I'm if I'm gonna go with who is better more often, I'm gonna go with Taker. Yeah, take it, bro. Like take it. Okay. Take it consistently yeah. from day one had the rawest fucking entrance, dog. And that kind of always remained the same. Like it never wavered, no matter if it was I mean it did. Big. Well, yeah, you're right. It did, but I, it you know, okay, you know what? The ones be like <laughs> exactly. I mean it did. You're right. It, it went, it went, it went to one that we didn't you're care about. Right. The ones that we fuck with, yeah, it was always it was always a spectacle. Um Every time, so I'll go take her. But thing, but I'm about to say, boy, but thing dropped in that fucking raptor. Oh my god, that's what I was gonna bring up next. That's the next one. Oh, right, so okay. for my interest, my interest, it was taker, right? Who had the better pop up, the sting coming down from the rafters or the blackout and the, you know, the gong blackout taker appears in the ring? <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going with sting. sting, I'm still going I'm sting. sting. I'm still going sting. That nigga was flying down and she okay. was falling down. Okay, shit. wait. I'm a fight. I'm a fight for Taker. Okay. There are very few things in this entire wrestling world better than a surprise gong. Very few. I I hear you. I hear you. But man, can you imagine if you were actually in the crowd when Sting was coming down from the rafters? Oh, I'm sure it was amazing. Great. Great. Can you from? imagine? Can you imagine? You at the you at the show. You didn't know Taker gonna be there. You ain't had no talk about it. All of a sudden, hey, I'm not. Gong. <laughs> I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie though. There, there, you were, there was a period of time like 2018 where you heard that gong and you just were like, uh. <laughs> oh no, no, okay, it's over. You're right. Wrap it up. You're right. You're right. You're right. I 100 percent agree with you. I get you. But also, the we, only thing the about thing with the, the thing drop down go for us. The only thing that that's a little bit <laughs> iffy when the thing dropped down, it took that nigga a little time to get from that fucking D ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it took him a little time to get from that shit. It's like, damn, it's that, y'all it took Nash a nigga? lot of time too. Yeah, like nigga hit the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga, the nigga all, he got the rope and shit. Y'all nigga just looking at this nigga get so, on. Hey, the thing that the thing. Okay, so, say, the, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say another reason I'm a, that that Sting like has more like I guess it's we didn't get tired of seeing Sting. Sting went away. <laughs> they used to bring Taker back all the time. You do okay, here, So here's the thing though. That's that's the interesting thing, and this is where like this is where TNA kind of benefited from it, right? <laughs> Sting actually was on TV a lot. Yes, during the TNA, during the TNA time, but True. because nobody was watching TNA, it made it feel like Sting really was never there. <laughs> but there was a period where Sting was on TNA every week. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was kind of like WWE fans when they seen CM Punk at Survivor Series. They're like, "Oh my God, he hasn't wrestled in ten years." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a whole show like, dedicated to that. Man. Was the man was just there like two <laughs> two months ago. Like two months ago, he was wrestling. Put on a banger too. <laughs> all right, so be somebody so, ass too. All right, so er, he did be somebody yeah. ass. Hey, hey, Dark glass. Remember that. 
be right. a glass. Cry me a river, baby. Cry That's right. River. That one moment um, changed everything. Hey, For because of Jack time, Perry, because, <laughs> we, because of Jack Perry, we are getting The Rock at WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. God bless Correct. Jack yes. Perry. <laughs> That's right. God bless Jack Perry. Um, best character evolution. Mm. Um. So for those that don't know, you know, what I mean, for the people that that not might not know the full evolution, Sting went from bodybuilder to surfer Sting to crow Sting to catch up Sting. To um, Joker? for those that don't know, the catch up, yeah, that's yeah. Wolfpack oh, Sting, um, Sting, yeah, okay. yeah Wolfpack okay. Sting, um, <laughs> to just like Old Man Sting, part one, part one, uh, <laughs> part one. Joker, Joker Sting, Joker uh, Sting, uh, Vigilante, Joker Sting, Vigilante Sting in WWE to the Sting that we see today. Taker went from um, a mortician <laughs> to a zombie to um, a demonic the devil. Devil, pri- devil priest <laughs> to an old age biker. Boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. Be- Wait, are you saying tomato, tomato? Oh, you're saying, oh, I thought you were saying it to the uh, ministry. St- oh, no. Ministry no. Taker. Oh, no. He's talking about the biker. Bike, biker yeah. boy. To zombie slash MMA fighter, um, <laughs> Hell's Gate, baby, Hell's Gate, Hell's Gate, Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate. <laughs> he used to come. He used to come. Yeah. Yep. But so, um. Okay. All right. So we're talking about like all of them, right? Yeah, the complete evolutions. Sting. Yeah, I'm going Sting. Stay. I'm gonna oh, stay. No, stay. Man. I'm gonna have to ride with Taker on that one. Even though I want to say Sting because he had more characters. Yeah, he had more characters that were fire. But the Undertaker, like he, even though it was essentially based off the same character, and that, and that's why I'm I'm going towards the Undertaker because he never left that dead man persona. Even when he was the American badass. He still had the instance of that, and he brought in a different move set with it. And I'm pretty sure that's another character go- category that you're gonna go with. But that that last ride though, when he was that 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 power bomb, come on now, son. So and then, the, cool. then the hell's gate. Cool. Okay, so this this is how I feel personally. If we're just going with overall evolutions, Sting. If we're talking about which one I think has like the best, I'll take it, Taker, because to me the, the the Ministry of Darkness Taker is like that's my that's my guy. Yeah, that's, that is my joke. Yeah. That's <laughs> legit. Now I told y'all this before. That legit made me not. I had to watch Live Wire to catch up on WWE on Saturday <laughs> yeah. when it was light. Damn, <laughs> bro, when it was light outside. That's the only time I could watch that man, bro. I couldn't watch him on on. At nighttime, bro, like that nigga scared the living shit out of me. And I had a I terrified. I had a T-shirt. I had a. I was Undertaker for Chris. I mean, for Halloween one year, and I legit didn't even open that drawer. The t- the shirt. My my mom folded the shirt. That drawer never got open. All those fire ass shirts and shit. I even had a gold Jordan jersey right next to it. Fuck it, keep it. Didn't he have Stone Cold like? Up in the Raptors, on the fucking oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, they, they crucified him. Yes, he, he got crucified. <laughs> like that's a lot of TV. My brain, like he was up there and then taking was just like, look at me now, nigga. Like that shit was one of the coldest I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> nigga crucified niggas, crucified that Austin niggas like the fire. top baby face. In the fucking hey, rap, like what? Jared, niggas alive with the fuck? Hey, did, you got man. jumped in. You had to get jumped into the ministry, baby. Dead ass. I know what I'm <laughs> free, so free, but I'm, I'm, I'm kidnapping kind of people. Kidnap people. Kidnap people. Yeah, he was kidnapping people. He kidnapped Mabel, dog. Almost he stabbed. Kidnapped. Almost stabbed a nigga with a sword. What the fuck? Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was high I will, quality. <laughs> I will say, for a gimmick that probably should have died. Up. That shit should have died like back in like 92. 
But I guess that's just more of a testament to to the fact that he wanted the evolution. Like he found ways to keep the character flowing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and to mention too, and to mention too, characters that build off of the Undertaker too, mankind, yeah. pain, um, the whole oh, yeah, ministry, yeah. the brood, like the the brood was always the brood before him, but the brood, the ministry brood too, like he. Like the Undertaker build niggas off of that. Like he got a whole death row going behind this nigga. It's Tupac and the rest of them niggas. He was at the like Shook Knight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So thank you for being our pet that in too, bro. Who who sting build up off him? Darby whoa, 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 no, hold on, no, hold on. No. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. you gone a little too far. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm dead, nigga. Let's go. A visible line stepper, a bit. <laughs> But here's the I mean, thing, right? It was niggas that helped Sting be Sting, Ric Flair, the Four Horsemen, and shit like that. It's niggas that helped him be him. Nigga, the fucking the nigga Undertaker had a main event, well, a WrestleMania match with the fucking John Gonzalez. A great match, man. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you I'm about match. to say you know that's that's like Scott. I'm about to say, say yeah, that about match, that. <laughs> I love that he even got matches that's just centered around him, bro. Like Boom. hell in the so then. So then that's the perfect segue. Who had the better matches? Taker, bro. Oh, Taker, Taker, Taker. Cassie no, match, Inferno <laughs> match. Bear the Live nah, match. Okay, okay, okay. Hang hell in the cell. Threw the motherfucker off the cell. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Come on, dog. All right. Hey, Baller, you talking about you no, know, you talking about moments. We talking about full Listen, weight matches. That matches. match was Y'all bring it. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, okay. I, I think you're not playing enough. You are not putting enough like respect on Steve Borden. We are not dis so yeah, we I, are not disrespecting fucking Steve yeah, Borden on this podcast. Steve I'll end Borden, this shit tonight. Steve, Steve <laughs> Borden, WCW, like early. Come on, bro. Steiners, Luger, Regal, <laughs> Flair, Steamboat, Rick Rude, Austin. Um, who else? Shoot, the matches he had in TNA, cooking with AJ. You know what I mean? Yep. You know what it's like to have a great match for Sting for people to say Sting was washed. And he had to, he carried a young AJ Styles to a phenomenal match. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was intended, but keep cooking. Keep going. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. And then on top of that, look at the later part, the the like what we've seen in AW Sting today, right? Every match he's been in has been a banger. Not only that. He has arguably been the MVP of every match he's been in in AEW. Yeah. yeah. Taker at the yeah. end of his career? Mm. <laughs> Need to hang it up. Not yeah. Flat screen. Damn. Y'all remember the match he had? <laughs> Do y'all remember the match he had with uh with Bray Wyatt where your God rest his soul? Do y'all remember that match though? Yeah, it was terrible. Terrible. But the first sentimental match. Need with AJ, the first that shit was, that shit was phenomenal. Well, I want to say the first in a minute match because you got to hey. go with Matt Hardy. With, <laughs> you got to go with Matt Hardy with that. You know, what I'm saying Matt Hardy hey. had the first in a minute. Hey, match. hey, 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 hey. We talked. All right, was that a was that a great? Absolutely. But we talked about all of it, bro. It's Sting. But Sting, uh, Sting, in a minute match wasn't really. Who cares? Um, I'm talking about the rest of them. They was though, they was, but Undertaker matches, bro. Like he legit built characters off his name, though, bro. He legit no nobody's built disputing. Niggas. Nobody's disputing that. We talk about the matches, and he had phenomenal matches too. Okay, um, the I'm streak, not saying he the did streak it alone. The streak, bro, and he had bangers at the banger just off the streak. We go off that, um. All Let's those bangers, but I feel you, man. Let me go. Let me go. Pop a all Undertaker versus all Goldberg work. match. <laughs> yeah, nah, dog. Goldberg you know what you need to pop in. Well, fuck up. He's that. Who was that nigga that was with? Um, that was with Sheamus and the niggas. The brawling. What brothers? was that? That's Goldberg, right there. The uh, nigga that always hurt niggas. You remember that Saudi match? No, I don't. We're not gonna just pimp <laughs> No, I don't. No, I do not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know no Saudi match. I don't know no DX combat match. I don't know none of that. <laughs> okay? So 
Then yeah. we can move to the next category because I don't want to talk about them horrible ass matches. <laughs> um, let's see. It's, it's promos. It's I just want to say that <laughs> promo. Ah, promos. Man. Gotta get at the thing. Gotta get at that's. Gotta get promos to sting, bro. Um, it was a point where that nigga went the saying shit, and it was still and it was still cooking. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't saying nothing. He would just come out. He ain't saying nothing for like a year. Nothing. Come out the Raptors, <laughs> point the bat, the crowd go nuts, walk around, and then he was gone. Like, hey man, you know how much? Yo, imagine how much money that man was making. Just to chill. Just man, that's what I'm saying. Maybe those just chilling, chilling up here, being like, "What's man up?" Man was letting that real estate, letting that real estate money come his way. Boom, 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 boom. And did, all did, did, did the fact clear. And out of both of them. He has like his, like a memorable promo. Like Undertaker don't have a memorable promo. He has a memorable punchline, rest in peace. But Sting is nothing for me. Uh, what what did he say? Something about me is nothing for sure. No, the only thing about that me for sure is nothing for sure. That yeah, was yeah. that's like Undertaker don't have that moment. Right. So that's never gotta, necessarily Sting, been his his forte. Sting's greatest promo. T- to me was the night after fall brawl 96 when like the like he proved that he was still wcw but everybody turned on him and he yep. comes out and his back is to the hard camera so you never see his face and he's cutting this promo about like if you ride for me i'll ride for you but if you don't ride for me you can stick it and six-year-old me was like yeah you know what i mean <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, like that I was, said, that was a great I that wish... was a great night in NWO history, baby. Uh, the yeah, night before, yeah, they, great night, they, they won, great they night, were winning. But Taker, on the other hand, like I feel like you gotta like you have to dig in your mind to figure out what was a like a truly legendary Taker promo. Got, Got one. one. The night when the night when Yokozuna beat him in the uh, casket match, and he showed up. Promo sucked, (laughs) but it was was memorable. You talking about the shit where he was in the casket? When that nigga, yeah, yeah. promo was awful. (laughs) Nigga was talking Uh, about milk, (laughs) (laughs) seeing children. Like, no, man, get that shit out of here. (laughs) (laughs) The answer is thing. Milk is the answer. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any other? Oh, theme music. Mm, that's hard. Oh man, mm, that search tough. and destroy goes so hard. Search and destroy goes so hard. <laughs> but take her one though, like when you get that gong, it's it's the gong takes it over. It just sets it off. Yeah, that gong, the gong. No matter, even if it was the rock and roll theme, it shit the. Much people hate the uh, American. Yeah, the, lip, the lip biscuit joint. All shit, all his shit's rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah, like take a take a got him, take a got him on theme. Now I don't know, man. When you, when you heard know, that, that, that when you heard that cowbell, doom doom. The man called Sting. Doom. doom. Come on, man. You used to get me. You used to get me hype. I'm <laughs> telling my mom bell. like, yo, my mom More told cowbell. my mom, pay my face. I think every nigga nope. painted his face to sting. That's what At I'm least saying, one. I, I did not. I'm sorry. You didn't? What you want? No. You want me to put on a you cowboy got hat? A black leather jacket too, so I can't judge. I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> you out here dressing like you out here dressing like Conan for Halloween. I did dress like Conan. <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you had to be yourself. I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely Conan for uh, Conan for a Halloween one time. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Oh my guy. Opponents who had the better feuds. Oh, that's. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna say Taker. Mm. Yeah, I. I, I don't, they I'm take it. They take out the better feuds. Yeah, he had the better feuds, bro. Because. Sting had ready-made niggas already to feud with. Taker pretty much built the niggas. It's a like, few of them was already ready-made, but he built a lot of he like I like I said before, he built a lot of characters off of his feuds, man. Hell, we got it. He had he told the biggest lie of wrestling history. 
and got away with it. <laughs> Like Kane, bro. Like the nigga brought Kane. That bro. must be Kane. That must be Kane. And we Kane. all thought that was his whole his well, I don't know if y'all did, but I damn sure thought I it did. was his brother. No, you couldn't cool. tell me you could you couldn't tell me back in the day that won't it that won't his brother. That shit. Yeah. Hey, hey man. Yo, that one time when Kane went to go save him and then he did the little arm, the little arm joint <laughs> salute one oh, another. A moment. Oh, oh dog, that was beautiful. No, no, and then Kane no. and then Kane sent him on fire like two weeks later. Great, <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> family, good, good family. Moment. Moment. Oh man, Moment. um, yeah, okay. So then, at the, I guess the last one is your personal preference. Sting, 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 sting. 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 Yeah. I, I, I could believe I could be Sting more than Undertaker. I couldn't see myself being. You couldn't see yourself oh. being a zombie. You don't want to be no, a cult. Exactly. You don't want to be a cult leader. I could see myself being pissed off and saying "fuck the world" and just fucking everybody. Like yeah. fuck everybody, bitch. I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> when I get hyped for something, when I get hyped for something, I'm always like, "It's showtime." You know what I mean? I get locked in. <laughs> but crosting, crosting thing is up there with Undertaker shit, but. I don't know about that. And you know, and you know what? I feel like I feel like this conversation is hard because, like I said, in a way, I feel bad for Taker because you got to remember, like his retirement ceremony came during the pandemic. Like there was nobody live in the audience. Like he got the love at the Hall of Fame and everything. For but sure. like, Sting Sting actually gets the opportunity to yeah retire in front of like a sold out crowd in Greensboro. You know it what I mean? Kobe like, moment. The, yeah. the emotion yeah. is going to be different, right? Now, we all remember the Hall of Fame speech for The Undertaker. It was beautiful. You know what I mean? It was good to see him get that recognition. But I feel like, mm -hmm. in a weird way, it feels like the Sting retirement is a bigger deal. And yeah. I just, out of proxy, it just feels like it's such a bigger deal. I know for me, right, I got two goats. It's Sting and Bret Hart. I never got an opportunity to see Bret Hart have a sent off match. I was 10 when Bret retired. I'm mm -hmm. an adult ass man getting ready to cry my eyes out. When we do the pot, <laughs> look, when we do that podcast, man, I'm painting my face. I might yeah, I can't wait. Should have seen more. I'll be up there. I'm you, excited for that, buddy. I, I, get, I gotta get my sting. I gotta get my sting joint ready. Hold on. What is it? It's March 3rd, right? Huh? No, no. Yeah, no. it's March 3rd, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I already know you got your staying shirt, sure, dog. I gotta get my. Yeah, baby. You know, but we already got the beautiful predecessor of the surface thing with Cody Rhodes, so we good. Nah, nah, nah. You mean Brian? <laughs> nah, dog. You mean you mean Brian Cage? <laughs> hmm. You mean Brian Stop. Cage? I beg your pardon. Both y'all. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I beg. I beg your damn I beg pardon. Your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy, uh, man. Yeah. He all right. No, man. And, he's not sting. Like, like, yeah, you're not, <laughs> you're not sting. Hey, real quick. His uh his two sons split yeah, their mama's jeans didn't stand, didn't stand a chance. Not at all, bro. Yo, they got jumped. <laughs> Them niggas are laid around. I feel like I feel like they I feel like low-key they've been training because why are y'all in the crowd with matching black shirts? And why'd y'all get beat up? Yeah, by the young bucks. Backs of all people. Yeah, they they, they up next. What's going up next for what? Them? Up next for what? Score the Blade Runners, man. No, nah, man, the, the Blade Runners, man. To go back to go back to their daddy's uh, origin days when he was teaming okay. with uh when he was teaming with the Ultimate Warrior. Mm. You know, I mean, per, it, I feel like it probably gonna suck, but you know, who knows. <laughs> Hey, we don't we don't know that. We have no idea. Huh? Hey, that. look, man, this fandom dies in that retirement. <laughs> this, not, this, does, this does not extend to his sons. God I didn't God. grow up with them. He said, God nah. damn. <laughs> Where's y'all? Y'all were with me shooting in the gym. Who a are these niggas? Me, Who are a three-year-old me <laughs> had to watch weekly, <laughs> watch Invader beat Sting's ass. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care yeah. about them getting by the young bucks. Great feud too. 
Excellent few. Excellent few. Ten, ten-year-old me was watching Sting whoop the NWO on a weekly basis. Shit, 10-year-old me <laughs> had that $5 tape from Walmart with, with Sting without the face paint. Like, oh, shit, he got a real face. <laughs> 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 oh, and his name is Steve? What the fuck? Steve Borden. <laughs> Steve Borden. Who the fuck is... Oh, Lex Luger is there too, man. Off topic, y'all remember the day y'all found out wrestlers had real fucking names? Uh, um, I actually I didn't have like an aha funny. moment. And it's funny because it was The Undertaker because I remember yeah. they were on commentator and somebody called him Mark and I was like, who is Mark? I was like, that is The Undertaker. <laughs> man, was First name, The... Last name Undertaker. <laughs> right. Undertaker. I was going to school nah. telling everybody the real. I'm like, no, his name is Mark Calloway in real life. <laughs> <laughs> telling them all, telling all the secrets. Fuck, so you won't like, get me no more. Yeah, yeah. Look, you would treat. You would literally treat it. You would treat it as if you were the only person who knew that. Yep. That's yep. I, and, and his brother is Kane Calloway. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you really saying that. <laughs> no, I said that. I think I can see it. I can see it. Off of just pure oh. just guessing. <laughs> oh man. Oh um, man. Hey, look. Uh, I've hit. I've ran out of my notes. So if there's anything that you brothers want to chime in on, this is the perfect time for we get up out of here. How did y'all feel about the halftime show? Perfect. I bought tickets right after that shit. Oh, you got uh, tickets. Part- yeah, well, my 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 fiance did. She bought us tickets to uh go see him in October. Okay, Down go ahead in Atlanta. Phillips. Yeah, the Phillips. Yep. That's gonna be that's gonna okay. be moving. That's gonna that be should moving. be dope. That's probably gonna be the best concert, honestly. That's gonna be a movie. The best Very show, nice. the best show on the tour. Yeah, bro. I'm, I feel I'm, like kind of excited. I feel like the the halftime performance just proved that that Usher is on a different level. Like like we like we always knew, but I feel like. The he's disrespect that, was getting the disrespect was getting kind of crazy. Yeah, I agree. They was out. They was out here saying he would lose a versus to a particular somebody. Mm. I put the halftime show up there with Mike. I ain't gonna hold you. I I don't know Ooh, if I'm. No, really it's a top five. It's, it's I a said top. it's up there. I'm not saying it's better. Nah, it's a top me, five. It's a top it's five. Up there is better than Bruno's. It's better. Than, I can I can name three. I can name three that's better than it. Prince is I, the best cause, cause Bruno Prince was is the best halftime show. Prince is the best one to me. I don't know, man. Yeah, Mike Prince is the best halftime show. Mike, Mike second, the, Beyonce's third. Mike, Mike, Mike teleported in 93. Who was that? Prince <laughs> literally made it rain. Prince During made purple it, rain. It it purple. During purple rain. Okay, I give you that. And kept playing. Good. At that. <laughs> it. But but I think I think the biggest thing about Usher's halftime performance was that. <laughs> We didn't expect we expect that shit to flop because we were like, what songs is this nigga gonna play to keep us hyped for a fucking a football game? Hold on for a second. Who? 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 A lot of people who? did. A lot of people did. Yeah. Nah, hell no. Nah. I, I, I didn't see a lot of people say that. Really? Yeah, I didn't see a lot of people say that. Really? Yeah, people like, say that. What songs he was gonna play to like what upbeat songs yeah. Usher played? I have a question. Were these people? people uh, I Where fuck these people. Like, of, put, like, like, nice and slow and all that other shit. The ballads. That's the shit I like. You know what okay. I'm saying? Did y'all like forget Usher from like the 2010s? That no, was no, I, 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 I knew it won't go flop. Oh, yeah, I know that. I'm I just knew. asking because yeah, like he used to have a bunch. OMG. OMG, one of the, the most uh, successful songs ever. Like the nigga got, uh, if any kind of genre of music you want, Usher has like you want really like you said, nice and slow. You got it. You want some up simple shit. You got it. There's nothing Usher hasn't done that you can say. Oh, he's not gonna carry a show, nigga. He was the show. That game for real, for real, sucked to the fourth quarter. Mm. I say second half, but I feel you. Yeah. Oh, I say all right, all right. That's fair enough. Because like I said, I, I, I second I, half. It's fair enough, but and I and it wasn't. It didn't suck. It was mid. It just wasn't. It just I was, it, well, first it, I, I'm biased because I, I mean, I ain't want to. I ain't gonna fuck about you need team more flexible anyway. Yeah, but oh, no, I did. I had a, I had a clear oh, well, person. You, you I had a clear right, team you. that I wanted to win. You, was, yeah, you had a bet going, so I respect. That. 
won't even a bet. I mean, I did have a bet, but I, I had a clear team that I wanted to win and a clear team I wanted to lose. But I just so, didn't know for biased reasons how he was gonna play them songs. I ain't know how right. he was gonna do it. Right. And then even the story he even put in that shit, he was like, Mama, I made it. They said I wasn't even gonna be here. That's when he won me over. I was like, All right, you got it, us. You got it, bro. I, my bad. My bad for doubting you, my boy. I saw a tweet that said, if you didn't illegally download Usher's music, then you shouldn't be commenting. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to LimeWire, buddy. Shout out to LimeWire. Baxter, LimeWire, AIM, all that shit. Napster. <laughs> I remember when they shut Napster down, and I went right to LimeWire. Woo! Mm-hmm. The then they made Napster the first like streaming service, though. Napster legit was the grandfather of that shit. Yeah. You had to pay like oh, 99 cents in a song. Yeah, yeah. Hey, no, you ain't had to pay nothing. At one point in time, you didn't. And then right. they got. They <laughs> yeah, got when they shut it hit. down, they brought it back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when they shut it down. They were like, nah, we got to sue these guys. The dude was from another, uh, Metallica. There was another site that you can buy CDs off of like $10. Oh, I don't know. I remember, uh, what's that shit? What's that drink called? Kaza? Kaza? Kaza, Kaza, Kaza yeah. Oh, Kaza, yeah. Man. Kaza. Yo, what an era. What a time. Because that was around the same time, the mixtape time. So you had that. You had my yeah. piff, my mixtapes, like. LiveMixtape.com. All right, dog. So I this is what we all need to do because I'm tired of these streaming services getting over on us. They were supposed to be the alternative. They were. They're now turning into worse than cable. We need to go back to pirating. That's what we need to do. We need to pirate. <laughs> <laughs> this is the call. Right, they just shut down all my I've been, I'm with you. I've been with you, Nick. We've been here. I've but been I need here. others to follow us. We need to pirate. Yes, all of us to prison. <laughs> exactly. You're all right. of us can't go. That's right. That's all right. All of us can't go. That's right. And again, they have stuff to get around that, so it doesn't matter. Look, dog, I'm paying for a UFC event this weekend. Dog, Whew. I am also paying for whatever I feel like watching. Uh, same here. But damn... PBC going to the prime is making it a little difficult to pay. <laughs> Amazon know how to block that shit, boy. They do. Well, they study. Funny. They study the game. Hey, look, they do. You know how hard. You know how hard it is going to be able to see Raw when it moves to Netflix. Oh. Mm. You ain't gonna you be ready to cough up them seventy dollars, baby. God damn. <laughs> So, and they taking everything off Peacock. They taking it all off. You said what? Seventy dollars? Uh, I've heard. I've heard. I, the, I've heard. No, I've heard. I've heard it. I don't know how much it's about. To be. I heard. I, I know thirty. I heard thirty consistently. Yeah, like, heard off rip. Yeah. No, there's a there's a there's a no there's a business podcast I listened to, and they were talking about they were like the way that they're they're moving and incorporating live television. Like seventy dollars is probably going to be the minimal. Damn. I can Ooh. see it, bro, because it was a lot of... Ooh. And that's without ads. I mean, that's that with ads. <laughs> and it, you know, so it's going to be a buck 20 without? That's what and, you're saying? That's what you're saying? Of, <laughs> you know, I'm paying for Cox Table on that. Netflix? Is that what you're telling me? Yo, they don't care about us, bro. Damn. Yo, shit, you ain't, see, you ain't see these joints? They about to start make like, the, the leagues are about to come together and they're like one like streaming service. And make you pay for that. Mm-hmm. It was a, it was a good ride. A good uh, ride, good ride. Hey, 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 pirate! They shut down with, they shut down with other little watch uh site. I've been trying to watch on. I can't find it. They've been changing that. Oh, shit don't, hey, player, what you what, what you trying to watch? To, you know what I'm trying to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got the perfect. I got a good sports mix. Sound like we in here. Sound like the uh, sound like the dude that used to come in the barber shop back in the day. Hey man, what DVD do you want? I got right. you. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, we definitely yeah, got that. Man, I, ain't, I ain't go to the movies to go watch Eight Mile. I watched that joint at the barber shop. Nigga, <laughs> where the nigga used to come in there? We got uh, all about the Benjamins. Love don't cost a thing, and I'll throw in. Bar- bar- <laughs> Bad boys too for extra two dollars. Got it. <laughs> uh, what was it? It was like three for ten. 
Three yeah. For, uh, three for 10. Two for, oh, 20, two for oh. 20, three for 15. Where I was at. Mm. Three for 15. This, hey, hey. Out. You remember, this, remember, the day, here, remember the day that you realized that you could do it yourself? That was a game changer. Mm, those that was a days, game changer. man. Oh, man. man. That was a game changer. Those, Man, I remember one AAU tournament. I went to an AAU tournament. My grandmother called me on the way back. And she was like, D, I need to delete all this shit. Man, I had, <laughs> shit. I had all type of shit on that damn shit, boy. I had a pair of shit. I had a night in China. I had all type of shit. But I didn't oh, know. Wow. I thought I was Jesus. downloading uh, in the club. But it was a video. And then next thing you know, boom, to boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yo so i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell you a quick story of why i don't have an xbox anymore okay because back in the day when you could burn games i forgot what 2- 2k it was but i burnt 2k and it didn't come because they because you could get you were able to get it like a week or two before it came out yeah, it dropped mm-hmm. on the internet. Um, yeah, I burnt it. Yeah, yep. good times. And then I go, I'm sitting here. I'm like, man, I turned off the, the internet. And I was like, bet. Just turned the internet off. Just played the game when it did my thing. I go hang out with my homeboy. He like, he complaining. He's like, dog, they just blocked my, they like blocked my entire Xbox. I can't get on Xbox Live or nothing. And I was like, <laughs> what? They banned you? I was like, what happened? I was like, word. And then my other homeboy got hit with it. And I was like, oh, if he got hit with it, I already know about to happen. As soon as I got home, I saw that message. He's like, you've been perfectly banned from that spot. Damn, son. <laughs> Took me out, oh. Took me out. Gots to be more kill. Young, young Rel, young Rel will never be seen again. <laughs> on on, on Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> He's up Damn. in the upper room. Yeah. They got me oh. out of here. Mm-mm-mm. Great conversation, folks. Oh, that's episode. That's what we do. So, what we do, of course, please. you know what I mean? Obviously, we're going to be tapping in this Sunday. Brother Lorenzo will be in the building. Um, yes, March sir. 10th, March 10th, we have the Survivor Series with uh, Ringside Club. That's a Saturday, ain't it? Uh, March it 10th? A no, it's a, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday? Bet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. It is a Sunday. Okay. Okay. I got you. Yes, I I only know that because my birthday is two days prior. Yes, it is on a Friday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Turning it a young thirty-four in the building. Hey, it's a beautiful thing, brother. Beautiful thing. You know what I mean? Me and D-Mac on the three, the three-four kick this year. Big chat, uh, repeat, man. Yes, sir. Um, mm. if before we get anything out of here, anything else? Want anybody want to add? Man, I could do I a little corner. I could do do a little corner real quick. Little boxing corner. Um, uh, Canelo had a big announcement today, which was lackluster. Um, <laughs> he 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 announced he was fighting for free in Mexico, and he still didn't announce the opponent. A lot of people speculating that it's uh Jamal Charlo, which is a big storyline against uh because he fought the younger brother Jamal Charlo. Um, <laughs> Big, um, yeah, he beat the shit out of Maul. He got cooked. <laughs> he he got cooked. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be close, at least a little close. And so this nigga, this nigga, is super confident. He put in a fight for free in Mexico against the big brother. Who, if it's gonna be the big brother, we don't know yet. A lot of people speculated it was gonna be his retirement uh, announcement, but it was actually him saying that he was gonna fight for free on Mexico television, or uh, Azteca um, channel. Can I ask you a quick question? And not to throw you off, because you said retirement. How long do you see uh, Canelo going? Not long, bro. That nigga been fighting pro since. He's like the Luka Donich of boxing, bro. He's been fighting pro since he was 15 years old, bro. He's been beating niggas at. You don't see his record is like 56, 2, and like 30. He's like 33. Yeah, he he might he our age, bro. That nigga been fighting since he was he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga been fighting forever, bro. Like that, he the first fighter I ever seen with a knee brace on. Bro. <laughs> this, nigga, bro, like, this nigga had fought Triple G with fucking uh what them that kinetic tape on his knee. I'm 
like, God damn, what the fuck wrong with this young nigga? But yeah, is that going on? Then is uh boxing is taking a WWE path with uh with Ryan Garcia versus Devin the Dream Haney. Uh that face off was fucking terrible. Bro, the they, joint where they where they faced off like the face off in that lobby. That was terrible. Yeah, then it's uh <laughs> people zoomed in, they had a lot of a lot of smart, smart wicks, a lot of smart marks, if you call it, like in boxing that had like people zoomed in and had people feeding them lines as if when they were fighting, like push them or they will say Loma Chinko to be a trigger word for them to push each other as if they when Devin Haney put Loma Chico in their face off. But um, I think it would be a good fight to um, to put Devin Haney over. Um, uh, Javante Tank Davis is uh calling out, well, called out, then backed out of the fight with uh Connor Ben, which is uh still don't know what, what he's gonna do next. But the boxing right now is in a weird space. Like it started off good last year. It did with uh, a lot of the, the whole, big fights going on. The whole year was fantastic. The whole entire year was fantastic, man. We had a lot of big fights that we wanted to see. So we're just waiting to see what uh what's going on with the new streaming stuff going on. Uh Tia Fimo Lopez and also uh Shakur Stevenson had bomb like like his terrible performances on uh big nights on Thursday. <laughs> that man called him food. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they called him food after, but we we'll see. We'll see. Oh, Zach. I didn't Zach. even see you back there. Zach. Zach, and Zach. What's going on? Man, it's back in the building. Back in Big the building. Dope. Big dope. So Mm-mm. we'll see what boxing gonna go next, man. We'll we'll see. Can I ask you a question? Um, do you feel because of the what Pox is trying to do with like the streaming service, do you feel that's been like a a, a a universal kind of shift domino effect of why it's kind of like in this weird space right now? With boxing? Yeah. Yeah, because like the first, like Amazon first, well, PBC's first um pay per view on Amazon Prime is Tim Zoo versus uh Thurman, which is it's a good fight for for hardcore fans like myself, but at the same time, what does it do? Is it just a fight just to get the kinks out, just to see how the streaming is going right. to work? Because they right. they it was speculated that Tank was going to be the first one, but Tank on house arrest still. Hell, his coach just got out of jail. So we don't know what he's going to do. And he's pretty much – he's the Mayweather of PBC right now. Right. Um, But they do have a stat card with, you know, the undercard being Roley versus uh, Pitbull Cruz and also other uh, fights with Carmel Moulton. You know, fighting on the, on the car, who is an outstanding amateur fighter, who's two and zero in the professional realms right now, who's, you know, taking a big realm, you know, in the in the professional route, and who they could build off of to be the next big thing over there. But in top rank, just doing whatever ESPN doing or want them to do is, I, I agree, is like with the streaming services and you know Netflix taking a big chunk of what's going on it's it's kind of weird right now what's going on with boxing but you just have to see man I, hopefully this this uh youtube boxing kind of die down a little bit and we get the same fights that we will see in ufc where it's the number one versus number two the main event fight but you know it's in the rear it's in weird space definitely in the weird space mm, fair enough uh quick update it looks like the Wolf Dogs won the titles. Yeah, I was literally about to say that. Yep. <laughs> Who did? Who won the titles? Wolf Bron Dogs. and uh, Bron Bron and, uh, and, uh, Baron. Porter. Hey, you can find me at Poetic Scott. <laughs> oh, damn. 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 You can find me on Instagram at Scotland <laughs> underscore Underwood. God damn. Uh, you can find me. At, <laughs> you can find me at. Rally the Leaf on Twitter, oh, Instagram. Follow both pod pages at BGW Pod on also on Twitter and Instagram. Man, you can find me on uh Twitter and Instagram at DMAC Tardy. Oh man, I thought you was gonna say you can find me. Your, what them days over? You're right. 
retirement. I mean, you could. <laughs> All right, man. That's all I need. You can find me. <laughs> that's I mean, all I need. You can it, find I mean, me. for the people that's looking, you know what I'm saying? You can find me your bitch DM. Mm. I'm about to get in trouble. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was it worth it? For the sake of the pod. My man. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, you can find me on IG, uh, Chaz OB, and on Twitter, that's my man Zo. And one time for the living legend himself, Zach Underwood, former BGW champion, back making Zach, his return to the podcast. Yes, sir. Zachariah, yes, sir. Baby. My guy coming back. But, uh, yeah, if we ain't got nothing else, fellas, excellent show to 155. Ah, yeah, we here. Until next time, we are out. Peace out to my to my world. Peace. Mm.